Hello everyone. My name is Srinivas and a hearty welcome to my Tech Studio 82 channel. Please do subscribe to my channel for upcoming technical videos and also please visit our website techstudio82.com. Here you will find most useful technical content. In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Oracle Database 19C Enterprise Edition software on Windows 11 operating system. This we are going to perform in three steps. In step one, we are going to download Oracle 19C Enterprise Edition software file directly from the Oracle official website. In step two, we will install the downloaded Oracle 19C Enterprise Edition software file on Windows operating system. In step three, final step, that is post installation check. We will ensure that Oracle 19C Enterprise Edition software is perfectly installed on our machine or not by opening Oracle Web Admin GUI interface and also by opening the SQL plus command terminal interface. Okay, then let's move on. Before moving to the first step, there are some prerequisites. Please make sure that WinRare software is installed on your machine. The Oracle software file which we are going to download will be in .rar format. In simple, it will be a zip file. That's why we need this WinRare software on our machine so that we can extract the zip file easily. And lastly, make sure that your PC has internet connection with good bandwidth as we are going to download the Oracle software file directly from Oracle official website. Okay then, let's move on to the first step that is download step. In this download step, I am giving you two options. The first option, either you can directly download from the Google Drive link, which I have provided in the below description. For this, you don't need any Oracle account. And in the second option, I'm going to show you how to download directly from the Oracle official website. For this, you need to have an Oracle login account. Let me show you. Open Google in any web browser and search with the keyword Oracle 19C download. On the screen, you can see the Google search results. The first result, you can see Oracle Database 19C download for Microsoft Windows 64 bit. Just click on this first link. It will direct to the Oracle official website. See, this is the Oracle official website. On the screen, you can see Oracle Database 19C for Microsoft Windows 64 bit. This is the software which we are going to download and install on our Windows 11 operating system. And the rest of the things you can ignore. Just click on this software. Now you need to accept the license agreement. Just click on download. Now it will direct to the Oracle account login page. You should have an Oracle account in order to download this software file. If you don't have an Oracle account, create account. Just click on this create account. You need to create your Oracle account. Trust me, creating an Oracle account is as simple as creating a Gmail account. So I'm already having an Oracle account. I'm just going with the sign in. Here I am going to give my credentials. I have given my username and password. Just clicking on sign in. On the screen below here, you can see our file is getting downloaded. The file size is 2.9 GB. Just click on show all button. This will direct to the downloads page. Here you can see the progress of our file. It all depends upon your internet bandwidth. It may hardly take some five to 10 minutes of your time. Just have some patience. Finally, we have successfully downloaded Oracle Database 19C Enterprise Edition software directly from the Oracle official website. Just click on the show in folder. It will direct to the downloads folder. See, this is my downloads folder and this is the software that we have downloaded so far. Now let's move on to the next step that is installation. In this installation step, we are going to install the downloaded software of Oracle Database 19C Enterprise Edition software on Windows 11 operating system. Let's start installing. Now let's go back to the downloads folder. This is my downloads folder and this is the software Oracle Database 19C Enterprise Edition software. Now we need to extract this zip file. So click on this and right click, go to WinRAR, select the extraction tool this folder on the screen you can see the extraction process the file is getting extracted it may take hardly some five to seven minutes of your time so let's have some patience finally the extraction process got completed this is the final file just double click on this folder and scroll down here you can see it is setup.exe file. Using this application, we are going to install Oracle Database 19C Enterprise Edition software on Windows 11 operating system. So let's start installing the database. Now select this setup.exe file, right click and select run as administrator. Whenever you are installing any software on your machine, I strongly recommend to run as administrator. Just select and run as administrator. You may be prompted for user account control access. Just click on yes. On the screen, you can see it is launching Oracle Database Setup Wizard. You can see Oracle Database 19C installer, step one of 16. We need to perform some 16 steps. And this is the first step. We need to select configuration option. We have two options. The first one is create and configure a single instance database. And the second option is setup software only. I'm going with the default one. Just click on next. 
in the second step we need to select class whether we need to go with the desktop class or server class by default it will be desktop class you can see choose this option if you are installing on a laptop or desktop class system since i am installing on a laptop i am going with the default one desktop class just click on next now we are at the third step we need to specify oracle home user we have four options use virtual account or use existing windows user or create new windows user or use windows built-in account i am going with the third one i am going to create a new windows user account username will be tech admin and the password i am giving as one two three four and the confirm password one two three four you can ignore this the newly created user is denied windows login privileges if you are not installing with administrator privileges then you will be getting a different error over here so once again i am requesting you to log in as administrator before you start installing this software now we are good with this just click on next now we are at the step 4. This is the typical install configuration. We need to perform full database installation with basic configuration. This is the default Oracle base which we need to change it. I don't want this so I am going with Oracle 19C. This will be our Oracle base location Oracle 19C. It will create dynamically this folder and you know this is a software location and this is a database file location under this folder it will be one more folder ORA data these two folders are dynamically created here you can see database edition we have two options one is enterprise edition and the second one is standard edition 2 I am going with the default one that is enterprise edition coming down to the character set let it be the default one unicode and this is the global database name ORCL this is important step just please focus on this global database name ORCL ORCL is nothing but SID we need to set the password the password that we are going to set will be for sys sysadmin and for the other admin users i am giving the same password in the previous step which we have given 1234 and the confirm password 1234 please remember this pluggable database name orcl pdb these three steps are very important at the time of configuration with sql developer these three steps are going to play a major role once again i am requesting you to take a screenshot of this please remember the password please ignore this warning and just click on next well, you can see a pop up over here. The admin password entered does not conform to the Oracle recommended standards. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Click on yes. You can see it is performing prerequisite checks and you can see the summary over here. These are all the global settings and this is the database information. Here you can see Oracle system identifier that is SID ORCL and this is a pluggable database name ORCL PDB. Please remember these two settings and also remember the password. Now we are going to click on install. Just click on install. On the screen you can see the installation progress one by one it will start installing you can see a pop-up window windows security alert windows defender firewall has blocked you need to allow access just click on allow access the installation process may take 10 minutes of your time so please have some patience finally our installation got successful you can see the configuration of oracle database successful and here you can see oracle enterprise manager database express url you need to copy this url i request you to take a screenshot of this once you copy this url click on close now let's move on to the final step that is post installation check in this step we will ensure that oracle 19c enterprise edition software is perfectly installed on our machine or not first we will open oracle web admin gui interface and next we will open the sql plus command terminal interface these are all post checks first i will show you how to open oracle web admin gui interface before closing this setup wizard i requested you to take a screenshot of this and also i requested you to copy this url open any web browser i am opening google chrome and paste the url link in the url hit enter here you can see your connection is not private click on advanced and here you can see proceed to local host which is unsafe but it's okay just click on this proceed to local host this is the admin web page login before you enter username and password please bookmark this page click on this bookmark just bookmark this tab just click on done you have successfully bookmarked here you can see the bookmark whenever you want to revisit this page just click on this it will automatically open this web page now let's give the username and password username is system and the password is 1234 for now container name let it be blank just click on login I'm just going to give an overview of this web interface. In this database home admin panel, you can see the status. Here you can see version 19.3 and the platform name Microsoft Windows 64 bit. Under the performance, you can see activity, services and containers. Just clicking on containers, you can see PDB dollar seed and CDB dollar root. 
these are the two containers and scrolling down to the resources you can see the host cpu active stations memory and data storage and if you come down to the sql monitor you can see the top 20 sql operations this is all about oracle 19c enterprise manager database express web gui interface now let me show you how to open sql plus command terminal interface click on the start button go to the all apps scroll down you can see oracle ora db 19 home just drop down this just scroll down here you can see the sql plus just click on this on the screen you can see oracle sql plus 19c shell terminal now we need to provide the credentials enter username as system and password as 1234 hit enter here you can see connected to oracle database 19c enterprise edition software this shows that we have successfully installed oracle database 19c enterprise edition software on our windows operating system these are all the post checks that's it guys thanks for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon please like and also share my videos to your friends and also please provide your valuable comments on this video your comments are highly valuable thank you guys